Lance and Lacey fell to fourth place with 45. Barefoot works. Come on, Lynn. Yeah, I'm gonna barefoot all over your face, Lynn. It was expression. <laughs> it was artistic expression. And it worked. Oh. But it was the team dances that turned the night on its head. Last week, captains Warren and Susan randomly picked their dances. Lance and Lacey. And then chose their teams for the all-new team dance competition. Go Team cha, -Cha! And they were both great dances. Everybody worked really hard on them. And Susan, you and Warren were the team captains. We were. You won the to the coin toss. You had first pick, so you chose Lance and Lacey. And obviously, great teams to choose among. So, what was your thinking behind that? I just thought Lance and Lacey were ready to cha cha, and yeah. they always bring something really fresh. I love their point of view. They bring some fabulous dancing to the floor. So they were my first pick. All right. Well, there you go. That makes a lot of sense. And you you guys got a 20 out of 30 for your score. Cody, do you think that was a fair score? No way. No way. <laughs> no, honestly, the Pasa Doble, y'all team, I mean, hands down, you guys took it. It was awesome. You rocked it again it tonight. Great. Congratulations. It was great. Awesome. Even in defeat, even in defeat, you guys are so nice to each other. Stop that niceness. Jeez. <laughs> Come on. The thing I'm finding is the toughest part is really the mind play that the judges have with you. It didn't enhance the performance at all. It was a distraction. I mean, you work so hard with your dances, and then to have someone criticize it, you start to lose your confidence. And for this competition, you have to have confidence in order to have a good dance. You know, it's really easy for me to be in front of a big crowd. I perform my whole life, so I love the stage. It's kind of like being in school. If you're good at a subject, you're just going to enjoy it that much more. The thing is trying to find the balance between what's coming easy and what's hard. First up, Lance Bass, the former boy band member. Stats on him? Well, not many. He's 5'10", and he wears shoes. I'm not going to say nothing about that. Len, he is on record as saying he was the worst dancer in his band. Is he also the worst dancer left in this competition? Well, not at all. He dances with passion. He attacks every dance. He's just got to work on getting the technique, and I think he could be a front runner. Uh, interesting thing we've noticed about Lance and Lacey, uh, the names are similar, and like old married couples, they're, they're thinking alike, they're starting to look alike. I mean, it's almost weird, isn't it? It gives them this chemistry together. They're both on the same wavelength. They've got similar feelings about the music they should use, the style of the dance they should use. They could just change their name to Lancey. At one point, Lance trained with the Russians to be a cosmonaut. Should he have become a communist and should he have gone into space? Hey, man, that's radical, man. That's cool. I like that. I don't even know who you are anymore. Next up... Also safe. Lance and Lacey, we will find out next live. Welcome back to Dancing with the Stars. The results, the three couples of Team Cha-Cha remain, one of them not for long. Having combined the judges' scores with your votes, we will now reveal in no particular order one couple who is safe and which couples are still in jeopardy. Cody and Edita. Cody, this week a combination of a low individual score and low team score left you at the bottom of the leaderboard. Did the viewers save you with their votes? Lance and Lacey, Lance, you had a difficult week with tough choices that impacted your performance and your judges' scores. Did the viewers appreciate your bold decisions? Susan and Tony. Susan, on Monday night, Carrie Ann made you tell the audience and yourself that you were doing good. But do the viewers agree? Lance and Lacey. You are safe. <laughs> Cody and Ed Over at One Sunset. Hello, extra. After dark, the party and the paps followed Lance Bass. I'm gonna ride with him. Earlier in the night, Mr. Bass was lobbying for a brand new presidential cabinet post. I'll be head of the gay affairs. How's 